Huyen, your mom told me you have finished practical electricity in school. Or uh, still finishing? Uh, finishing. Oh, okay, okay, great. Okay, so maybe you can tell me topics, what are the topics you like? What are the topics you don't like so much? Um, I don't like uh, the the kinematics. Kinematics. Right. Oh, do you know kinematics is also the A math and E math? Yeah, yes, I realized that. Okay. So for E math is something simple like speed time graph. A math, mm. uh, I suppose you are doing calculus now, like integration differentiation. Yes, it's by it's in the last chapter. Last chapter oh. of integration differentiation. So kinematics, yeah. kinematics is important. Mm, but I, I'm not so good at the part where they say like a uh, zero acceleration total, total um, all that. Okay, okay, understood. Okay, so I'll uh start the lesson now. I'll mute all of you first, and I'll ask you a question. Okay. Hello, Rachel. You cannot talk again. Can you talk? Huh? Ah, okay, okay, can. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, can, can hear you good. Okay, so class, we start lesson now. So today we are going to talk about practical electricity. Uh, what can you tell from the title? Like, what do you think you know? Maybe we hear from Hui Yuan. For practical electricity, you have learned this in, like, learned a bit in school. Can you tell me, in this topic, what are we learning? Mm, electricity and its application in our daily lives. Wow very good i expert already you can go to do questions <laughs> okay very good okay thank you thank you okay okay hi jonathan thank you for entering the classroom um chloe oh, okay finally okay hello chloe can you talk chloe try to talk oh okay disappear again <laughs> okay okay chloe can you hear me Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, okay, so uh, Hui Yuan just now said practical electricity talk about how do we apply electricity in our daily life, right? This is actually means application, okay? More of like application questions for electricity, okay? So now let's look at the use of electricity, okay? Uh, these notes actually are uploaded uh, last night. Class, for all the notes, if you don't want to print out the hard copy, hi, Gareth. Oh, hi. hi. So basically, what we are going to do is practical electricity today, okay? I have uploaded the notes to the class chat, okay? Uh, for all the notes, okay, let me write down. For notes, it's up to you whether you want to print out or not. I make it optional, okay? If you want to have the soft copy, it's, it is okay. Soft copy should be good enough, okay? So hard copy is optional. Soft copy is okay. Uh, for hard copy, it's optional. But for the worksheets, right? Like for the worksheets, please try to print out if possible so that you can write down on the physical copy your working and all that and that you can do revision as well. So for worksheets, I encourage you to print out, okay? You, because you can write down, okay? This worksheet, please print out. But for notes, right, like for example, this particular note, it is okay if some students say, oh, yeah, I must have the hard copy, I want to write down my working, you print out. If you think eh, it is good enough for me to refer to the soft copy, I'm perfectly fine with it. Okay, so for practical electricity, talk about the use, we'll describe the heating effect of electricity. Actually, you learn this in lower sec. Okay, you learn this in lower sec. Okay, you learn this in lower sec. Do you still remember what are the three effects of current? Three effects of current. One is heating. The other one is what? You learn in lower sec science. Anyone has idea? Any volunteer? You can click the red bot, red bottom corner of your screen. There's a palm sign. Any? Volunteer, what are the three effects of current? One of them is heating effect. What is the other one? 
any idea? Maybe Gareth, do you have any idea? There are three effects of current you learn in lower tech science. One is heating effect. The other one is. Do you remember? No. Not really. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. How about Wei Yuan? Cannot remember. Okay. Fine. Okay. So uh, the three effects are actually heating effect. The other one is magnetic effect. Magnetic effect of current. The last one is chemical effect. Okay, chemical effect. These are the three effects of current. It could come out in your MCQ question, okay? It could come out in your MCQ question. Okay. Heating effect, magnetic effect, and chemical effect of current. Okay. And then for heating effect, okay, you can see electric kettle, electric iron, electric radiator. Okay. Then That's filament lamp, use heating effect, okay? And uh, let's do a very quick recap, okay? For this formula, R equals to rho times L over A. Do you still remember what does rho represent? R is resistance, right? It is resistance, okay? Unit is ohm, okay? What about rho? What does rho represent? Rachel, do you like to try? Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, resistivity. Very good. Okay, resistivity. Resistivity. Okay, do you remember what's the formula of resistivity? Ohm. It's harder. Meter. Yes, very good. Wow, very good. Okay, so the L is a length. Okay, L is a length. The SI unit is meter, okay? I'll put all the unit in the bracket. And A is area. The unit is, SI unit is meter square. Okay, just a very quick recap, okay? So for filament lamp, uh, it generate light, okay? Hot, uh, heatiness first. So the change of um, energy is from electrical energy. Electrical energy, okay? Then to... Thermal energy, which is Q, right? Then after that, to light. Okay. So actually, filament lamp is not very efficient. Not very efficient. It's with low efficiency, okay? Low efficiency. The symbol is like this for efficiency. Okay, because there's quite a few changes. Okay. Now we'll look at other, uh, for example, fluorescent lamp, it's more efficient. Okay. Then we'll look at some comparison, the advantage and the disadvantage, okay, for filament lamp and the fluorescent lamp, okay. So you can go home to read slowly if you have time, but I don't think it's very, very, this part is not very, very, I just need to know some of the facts, like, uh, cost more, like, for example, uh, it costs more, like for the flu fluorescent lamp, that's why it's less frequently used in household. Okay, so we can look at. Okay, so like for example, the two examples of household appliance that use heating effect, okay, could be electric kettle and electric iron. It could be simple MCQ questions, okay, and uh, we will skip this part. Okay, now we are going to talk about the formula that you need to know for the topic, practical electricity. Okay. And also a very important unit, kWh, kilowatt hour. Okay. So first of all, uh, remember power is defined as work done divided by time, the rate of work done. Remember that? This is what we learned in sec 3 under the topic work energy power, right? Power is defined as the rate of work done or rate of energy conversion. That's what we learn in SEC 3, work energy power. Okay, so the uh, voltage is defined as work done divided by amount of charge. Okay, so work done equals to voltage times amount of charge. Okay. 
and then we can derive this formula. So power equals to V times I. V is the voltage, okay? Voltage. The SI unit is volts. Current is, symbol is I, okay? SI unit is amperes, right? Okay? This is the fundamental formula, okay? So we can actually use Ohm's law. We can use Ohm's law to derive V equals to IR, right? So power equals to IR times I equals to I square R. So this is one of the important formula, okay? Okay, the other one is you can use I equals to V divided by R to derive power equals to V times V over R, which is V square over R, okay? So you can use either this formula or this formula. These two are equivalently important, okay? Power equals to V times I. Okay, I'll write down here. Okay, the important formula, power equals to V times I. Power equals to I square R, okay? Power equals to V squared divided by R. And as you know, I square R is actually a, a, you know, A star, the research institution, that's one of them is I square R. Uh, dealing with electrical energy, infocom, and uh, other related uh, research projects. I square is a short form of one of our institution of uh, RA star. Okay, so we'll look at the unit. Okay, power unit is always what? Okay, symbol is W, which is capital letter. Okay, capital letter. Okay, so far, any question? Any question? Okay, so let's look at, okay, this is the typical rating of some of the common appliance. Okay, that's electrical iron, LCD, TV, lamp, kettle, condition, air conditioner. So you can see, right, your parents will say, hey, if it's not necessary, do not switch on your aircon okay because the power is very high okay high power okay so now i have a question do you know in our household which appliance okay consumes most electrical energy that's my question most energy okay. so you know energy equals to power multiplied by time right it's either power very high or time use is very long any volunteer do you know the answer Jonathan do you know what's the answer you may make, you may make a guess um, which water heater. sorry Water heater. Sorry, volt meter. What? 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 Uh, water heater. Water heater. Okay, water heater. Yes, one of them. Yeah, correct. Thank you. Because water heater, the electric kettle, right? The power is very big. Yes. So one of them could be heater. Water heater. Okay. Water heater. Any other answer? Any other answer? Chloe, what do you think? Any other electrical appliance, household appliance that will use a lot of energy? Um, washing machine. Washing machine, uh, I think not exactly. Thank you for the input. Okay. Gareth, what do you think? Is there any electrical appliance consume a lot of energy? I say energy, not power. Energy, yeah. Is it like those kind of clothes dryer? Dryer. Oh, okay. Uh, they consume energy, but same as washing machine, not so much. Okay. Plus, I give you another answer. You might be surprised. Fridge. Refrigerator. Do you know why? Because for refrigerator, right, it is always on. 724, right? 
724. Okay, so basically every second, every second is on. Because energy depends on power and the time. If the time for the appliance to on is forever, I don't think in Singapore we, we can off the refrigerator anytime. So from first day of the year to the last day of the year, every single second we switch it on. So when you buy refrigerator, right, please check the power rating. Okay, please check the power rating because refrigerator, we never switch it off. So the time is like very, very, very big value. Okay, for even for heater, even for aircon, although the energy, the, the power is big, right? However, we don't always switch it on. We won't switch it on for every single second, right? Even aircon, maybe we switch on uh, when it's hot, like in April, in May, but not always, right? For electric kettle, I don't think any of you like need to boil water every single second, right? So far, okay? Make sense? So refrigerator, surprisingly, although the power not that big because of the time is really every single second, every day, every hour is on. So you may want to buy a refrigerator with a good power rating to save money on utility bill. Make sense? Make sense? Okay, now let's look at the next question. So this is a very simple example on how you calculate the power given the V and I. Okay, so the flashlight bulb okay connected to the battery that's current so it's a, just a direct application of the formula power equals to v times i that's it okay so far then we'll look at our next part energy equals to power multiplied by time okay then power we can use the product of v and i okay v times i times t and the SI unit for energy is joule, okay? That's what we learned in sec 3 as well. So I'll quickly cover this part. Okay, now I want you to take out a piece of full scale paper or if you have notes ready, you can try this question now. I'm going to uh, give out the small drawing board and I want you to give me the answer on the small drawing board. Okay, class, you can try part A and part B now. You may refer to the formula here. Power equals to V times I. Power equals to I squared times R. Power equals to V squared over R. Okay, please do on a piece of paper. Do you have your handphone with you? Do you have Sorry? Your, do you have your handphone with you? Oh, so yes. Later, right, I need you because the rest of them know how to upload their working. Do you see on the screen there's a small drawing board? Yeah. Yes. So I go to your small drawing board. Do you notice uh, this part? There's a scissor sign. Ah, uh, yes. You put your mouse on it, and then you see the last option is upload by QR code. Do you see that? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, so you click it. You use your handphone to scan the QR code, and you take a random picture. You can take a random picture, and then you upload to your pod now. You try this first. Oh, all right. Do you manage to do that? Uh, I'm still doing oh, no, the... Just, just try to put a random photo first. Try to use the... Uh, oh. practice the uh, upload by QR code function. Oh, okay. Um. Do 
Well done, your part A is very well done. Good. Um, part B, how many SF? Ah, okay. SF. Ah, okay, Hu Yuan, okay, good. Well done, good job. Uh, Gareth, Gareth, your part A is perfectly done. Very good. For part B, right, what's the SI you need for time? Mm. Is it hour? No, right? Oh. Ah, okay, you know the mistake, right? So please change. Good effort. Chloe, you did a good job. Uh, but Chloe, um, I don't understand, like, why it's like this. I thought the standard form should be A times 10 to the power of N. And then this A must be between 1 and the 10, right? Ah, okay, okay, good. Excellent. Very well done. Okay, good. Chloe did a good job. Oh, by the way, I think your camera got problem. I cannot see your face. Please adjust your camera. Thank you. Well done, Chloe. Both part A and part B, very well done. Okay, so I'm going to show you the answer in a short while. Rachel, ah, Rachel, you have the same mistake. Uh, what's the SI unit for time, Rachel? You can see the screen, right? Is it hour or second? Second. Second. So is this in second? No, right? The unit is incorrect. Okay. Uh, Hu Yuan, have you done the question? Yeah, can you upload your working? Class, the purpose asks you to uh, upload your working is I can check your presentation, okay? I can check your presentation, the unit, and I can understand is there any common mistake for, for example, this question, right? 20 minutes, okay? 20 minutes equals to 20 times 60 seconds, which is 1,000 200 second okay so uh i am looking for you i don't think this part is okay yeah this is in hour right but what is si unit for time second okay understand you need to multiply by 1200 so class i'm going to show you the answer here so uh, all of you actually get this part A very well done. All of you get it correct. But the second part, many of you do 20 over 60, which is incorrect. You need to find the SI unit for time, which is in seconds. Okay. Let's say if part two is a two marks question. In exam, if you use, if let's say you do this, I'm so sorry to tell you, you will get zero mark. Because this step will give you one mark. Students show understanding, demonstrating understanding of what is SI unit for time. Okay, you can get one mark here and another mark, it could be this. That's good enough, lah. okay? Final answer mark. So don't make such mistakes in exam. You'll get zero. Okay, I don't think it's a difficult question. Don't lose mark on simple questions. Okay, let's move on now. So for the next example, okay, uh, I want you to try part A, B, C now. Try part A, B, C now. After that, we'll move on. So this is actually to, to get you familiar with the basic formulas of power of electricity. Okay, please try example 19.3. Okay.
Okay, after finish it, please upload your working. I'll help you to delete your working on the uh, drawing board. Okay, Jonathan, start typing. A ritual for the previous part, uh, you look, look at the small drawing board. Is this acceptable? This become 4SF. So you need to change it to 115, then 0, 0, 0, 0. Then okay. Understand, Rachel? Okay. Good. Slowly, I'll help you to delete your working for the previous part. Okay, the rest of you, please upload your working. I, I don't think it's a very difficult question. Please upload your working. So the last question, eight hour. So time should be eight times 60 times 60 okay by the way one hour equals to 3600 seconds 3600 seconds uh Gwaris, everything okay just that part b you, you forgot the unit please add the unit okay your numerical value calculation is perfect. Good. Just remember the unit. After the last equal sign, must have the unit. Okay, Hui Yuan, well done. Well done. Just that there's one problem. Hui Yuan, you look at this answer. Can you tell me how many SF are there? Oh. Do we normally leave the answer in 4SF for physics question? Oh, 3SF. Yes, so please change it to 3SF. Okay. Jonathan, perfect. Okay, Rachel, well done. Chloe, well done. Okay, we can move on now. Okay, so no issue, like everybody got the correct answer. Okay, <coughs> so we are going to talk about another concept. KWH. Okay, so kilowatt hour. Okay. So you need to understand the cost of electricity consumed is calculated in the number of kilowatt hour kilowatt hour of electrical energy used. If you are keen, you can look at your utility bill. Okay, so it is actually the amount of electrical energy. Okay, used by a one kilowatt device in one hour. So we can do a simple calculation of how many joules is equivalent to one kilowatt hour. So because power energy equals to power multiplied by time, so the power is 1000, the time is 3600. So I can say it is 3.6 times 10 to the power, 10 to the power of 6. Okay, that's one kilowatt hour. Please remember it is a unit for energy. Okay, unit for energy. Okay, unit for energy. So uh, this is an example. I don't want you to try it. It's very simple. So basically, the energy is power multiplied by time. Power is 
I'll prefer to see kilowatt, okay, times 2. So it's 3.0 kilowatt hour, okay. Then the energy in joule is 1.08 times 10 to the power 7. Okay, so class, I noticed just now when you do the question, some of you write a lot of zero. That's not really necessary. Okay. Okay, not necessary. You normally use the standard form. Okay, so class, do you think, right, if I have 25.1 times 10 to the power of 3 joule, can this be my final answer? Can this be my final answer for Felix? Okay, my option A is okay, yes. Option B is no. Okay, I want you to do the MCQ question now. Okay, you can start now. You can click the answer. Is it A or B? And what's the reason later we will discuss. Some students think, okay, uh, 25.1 25 times 10 to the power of 3. Do you think it is acceptable? Those of you who have answered or do the picture. Okay, I'll end the answer. Okay. So can I invite uh, any volunteer? Hey, class, any volunteer you want to share with us why this is not acceptable? Why this cannot be final answer? The correct answer is B. Cannot. No. It cannot be the final answer. Cannot be the final answer. Can some of you to volunteer yourself to explain why this is not acceptable. Actually, this is a math question. I have to say this is a math question. Maybe, uh, Jonathan, why 25.1 cannot be the times 10 to the power of 6 cannot be the final answer? Mm, supposed to be 2.5, 1 okay. times 10 to the power of, uh, 10 to the power of 4. Okay, so it should be 2.51 times 10 to the power of 4 joule. Very good. Thank you. So, class, you need to understand standard form is in the form of A times 10 to the power of N. Okay. N must be what? Must be a whole number, right? It must be a whole number. N must be a whole number. Okay. It can be positive, can be zero, can be negative. But if it's zero, we don't really write like it's either positive or negative. What about the value of A? Can A be any value or no? What's the range of value of A? A should be less than 10, right? A should be also greater or equals to 1. 1. Okay? Thank you. Very good. Okay. So my question is, if I have 0, 0.0... Uh, 0 0.623 times 10 to the power of 5. Can this be my final answer? Yes or no? Yes or no? No. Because this number is too small, right? We don't accept it as a final answer. You have to change it to 6.23 times 10 to the power of 4. Okay? Then you see, oh, the A is okay. It's between 1 and 10. This is an important skill. Okay? So, for all the physics questions, you need this skill, especially when the number is very, very, very large. At least, a number is very, very small. Okay? Please remember that. Okay, now, let's continue. So, for physics, it's a combination of content knowledge as well as skill. Right? You need to know certain facts. You need to know the uh, how do you apply various skills in solve problem. Okay? So, let's say we look at this utility bill of a household for one month. We notice, oh, this is the total amount, right? So the cost, we can calculate the cost. So the formula is always will use how many kilowatt hour, how many units. The unit is always in kilowatt hour. Then this is the cost per unit. The cost per unit. Uh, kilowatt hour to find the utility bill. Okay, so far? Okay. No issue. Okay. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> uh, this is a fact that you may remember again. Just now we talked about it already. One kilowatt hour is equivalent to 3.6 mega joule. By the way, mega is 10 to the power of what? Do you remember? Mega. It's actually called prefix. Prefix in physics. 
Okay, prefix. Mega is 10 to the power of what? Rachel, do you remember? Mega, capital. Hey, try lah. Can you try? Mega. Mega means very big, right? Very big. 10 to the power of? 8. Uh, sorry, 6. Anyway, good effort in trying. Okay, thank you. Okay, there's another one is also M. Capital letter M is 10 to the power of 6. Small letter M. What about small letter M? Chloe, do you remember small letter M is 10 to the power of? Um, negative 3. Very good. Thank you. Okay, so capital letter M is mega. Okay, mega means big. 10 to the power of 6. Small letter M is milli. Okay, milli. Okay, milli. 10 to the power of negative 3. So let's move on. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll skip some of the easier questions. Okay. Like this question, we'll just quickly go through. Okay. So they charge 80 cents for each kWh of your electricity, electrical energy use. So that's, there are actually uh, two appliances. One is 3 kilowatt kettle for 20 minutes. So now, right, the power is 3 kilowatt. The time, now you need to change it to hour. Okay, then you get this. Then the other one is 100 watt. You shall change it to how many kilowatt? Because kilowatt hour, change the unit to kilowatt for power. Okay, the time should be in hour. Okay, so you do kilowatt hour, how many kilowatt times how many hour. Then the total energy is the sum of the two appliances, total uh, consumption, energy consum consumed. Then you times the cost. It's like a math question. Okay. So we talk about the key idea so far. Power equals to V times I equals to V squared over R equals to I squared times R. Okay, so far okay. Anyone want me to slow down? Please raise your hand. Okay. Then we also have uh, electrical energy equals to power multiplied by time. And we talk about kilowatt hour. That's what we, that's how we measure electrical energy, how we calculate the utility bill. So all the, uh, some of the questions we'll skip. Now we'll talk about dangers of electricity. Okay. Okay, so for damaged insulation, okay, so the ins insulating material become worn with time and use. Okay, or the cables are bending and the twisting, okay, may actually cause the electrical insulation to crack. Okay. And the uh, uh, I'll talk more about what is a live wire later, okay? For the time being, we, we can skip this part. I'll talk about what is a live wire shortly, okay? So then we look at some of the dangers of electricity. Like, for example, this one. There are so many devices connected, right? So you know the current will become very high, high current. And due to the heating effect, just now at the beginning of the lesson, we talk about the heating effect of current. Okay, heating effect of current, it will cause overheating, may, may catch fire. That's why it is dangerous. Okay, it may catch fire. Okay, heating effect of the current. Okay, so then we'll talk about in the damp condition. Okay, so um, my kids, they sometimes topple that water bottle and the near to a main power switch. It's very dangerous. Okay, it's quite a scary thing. Lah. Okay, so because the water, right, will cause the resistance to be very small. Okay, so then the current become large. Okay, so the water will cause resistance of the appliance to be very small. Then the current become very large. For example, if you pour water on your palm, on your hand, it will cause the resistance of our hand to be very, 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 very small. So if you use your wet hand to touch electrical appliance, it is going to be very dangerous because the current will be very large. Okay, so in Singapore, the household voltage is normally around 220 to 240 volts. Okay, it is a constant value. Okay, so current equals to V divided by R. Since the V is constant, if R is small, R is going to be very large. That's why it's very dangerous. Okay.
Okay, so there are some uh, danger caused by different condition and you may want to memorize a little bit. So let's look at the keywords here, okay? Like for live wire, I'll talk about it later. So we skip part A for the time being, okay? For overheating of the cable, the danger is overheating of cable may cause the damage of in insulation and may cause fire. Okay. And the uh, in damped condition, you can say water provides a conducting path for the current to flow. Okay. May cause the person to be uh get electric shock. We use electric shock. You know what it what does it mean by electrocuted, right? That means a person died because of current electricity. So we just say get electric shock. Okay, electrocuted is very, very serious. We don't need to use that term. Okay, electric electric shock. Okay, okay, so class, this particular part, the safe use of electricity at home, it is very, very important. It is very, very important. So we are going to talk about the household circuit breaker. Okay, those are the household, how the circuit is like in household. Okay, so there's live wire, neutral wire, and earth wire. I'll talk about three pin plug later. Okay, and this is actually circuit breaker. Okay, circuit breaker are safe devices that can switch off the electrical supply when there's an excessive current in the circuit. Most of us actually in our household all have circuit breaker nowadays. Okay. Nowadays we use circuit breaker. Okay. Now we talk about fuse. Um, I think very few family nowadays use fuse. Mainly like landed, like if you stay in landed house, they may still use fuse. So fuse is a device include an electrical circuit to prevent excessive current flow. Okay, so you may notice right most of the time we try to control the current flow because high current may cause overheating, may catch fire. Okay, may cause fire. Okay, this is a fuse. What's the symbol for fuse? It looks like that. The circuit symbol for fuse. It looks like that. This is a fuse. Okay. So when the current is very large, right? If the current is flow is greater than the rated value. Okay. So the rated value, for example, they say the uh, is 3A. That means the current more than 3A. Okay. It will sometimes we say melt. Sometimes we say blow. We use this term. Okay. So the basically when the current is larger than the current rating, it will melt or blow. That's what happened. Okay. Any question on fuse? Any questions on fuse? If no, we move on to the next part. Okay. Uh, for the time being, you just remember fuse need to be connected to live wire. Okay, connected to live wire. So remember, we talk about if the current is greater than the rated current, right? It will melt or it will, the fuse will melt. Okay. So normally, right, we shall have a for example, the lighting circuit use 4 ampere. We shall use a fuse slightly greater than the normal working current. So the rating, so the rating should be slightly greater than the normal working current. Okay, normal working current. There's no point, like for example, what happened is if let's say your normal working current, let's say your normal working current equals to 4.5 ampere, then you have a fuse, like the fuse current rating is 3.0 ampere, then it will keep 
melting, right? Then you keep change the fuse. It's going to be troublesome and not going to help you. So basically, this is not what we want to see. Okay, this is not what we want to see. So if let's say the normal working current is 4.5 ampere, a good choice of the fuse will be 5 ampere. We prefer this. Okay. Okay, so when you want to change the fuse, we have to switch off the main power supply. Okay, main power supply. Okay, so we look at this example. For example, there's a fuse to pro protect the heater from overheating. We can find the normal working current, which is 12 ampere. Okay, 12 amperes. Okay, the current is 12 amperes in normal working condition. So the suitable fuse is the one with the fuse rating that slightly larger than or slightly higher than the current. So a 13 ampere fuse would be suitable. This is how you answer the question. You need to find a normal working current. And a suitable fuse should be slightly bigger than this rating. Okay. So, uh, okay, now I'll talk about the switches, okay? So we'll talk about switches. So you remember the symbol for switch? Something like this. This means switch is open, open, right? The switch is open. And uh, we always have the switch break or complete the electrical circuit. So in this case, right, it will cause a open circuit right if you close it i use another color marker okay if you close it then it become a closed circuit right we use switch to open or complete the electrical circuit so if the switch is fitted onto the neutral wire we'll talk about neutral wire later just tell you this is not appropriate one okay normally right we'll prefer to see this you live wire come to the fuse, come to the switch, to the appliance, then come up to the neutral wire. Okay, come up to the neutral wire. Okay, so this is very, very, very important. This part is very, very important. This is actually a part about a, a fused plug. Okay, this is a three pin plug. We call it three pin plug. Okay, so you need to know that different color of the wire represent has different function. So how do you remember NEL? You remember Northeast Line. You know, Singapore MRT Line, Northeast Line. Okay, so North is N, neutral, blue color. Okay, Earth wire is yellow and uh, green. You know, on the Earth, we see green trees. We see uh, yellow is maybe soil or something else. Yeah, then the life, right? is brown color okay brown color so you look at here neutral wire is blue live wire in brown color earth wire is in green and yellow so try to make sense like uh neutral like blue color is pretty neutral if a boy if a boy he can wear blue t-shirt for a girl to have blue t-shirt is also like quite neutral right so try to use common sense to remember Okay, so for live wire, you know, if you if there's bleeding or and the you know, ambulance, those color, right, it's always like red color, dark red and brown. Okay, so live wire is brown. You need to know the color as well, okay? The name of the different wire as well as the as well as how we call it. And for the earth wire, it's green and yellow, as as I said, the trees and plants on the earth. So it's green and yellow, okay. So remember the orientation, N-E-L, neutral earth life. Remember, I use, I use northeast line to remember the orientation. Okay. So, and then what is this? This is a fuse. How do I know this is a fuse? Because I see 13 ampere. I see 13 ampere. So it's a current rating of the 
fields. Okay. Then, what is earth wire? Okay. The earthen wire is a low resistance wire that usually connected to the metal casing of the appliance. This you need to know very well. Okay. You need to know very well. Earthen wire is a low resistance wire connected to the metal casing of the appliance. Okay. And it prevents the user from getting an electric shock if the live wire is not appropriately connected and touches the metal casing of the appliance. Okay, so prevent the user from getting electric shock. Okay, so we look at the connection one more time. So that's three wire. N E L, right? The earth wire is connected to the metal casing. The live wire is where the current flow into the appliance, then come up from the neutral wire. Okay. So after the live wire, you have fuse, then the switch, then the appliance, then after that, come out to the neutral wire. So normally, right, earth wire there's no current. There's no current in the earth wire. Okay. Even when there's a problem in the connection, okay? Well, even when there's a problem in the connection, there will be current in the earth wire. Okay, so we also have uh, some other features like um double insulator. Okay, double insulator it looks like this. One small square outside, one big square. So basically the Earth wire is not there. No earth wire. Okay, no earth wire. Why no earth wire? Because the casing is not metal. Okay, casing is not metal. There's no metal casing. Because earth wire is connected to the metal casing of the appliance. Okay, metal casing of the appliance. If it's a plastic casing, there's no earth wire. Okay, and the double insulation also. You can understand the insulator, the internal components are also insulated from the external casing. Okay. Okay, so you need to understand this part very well. Okay. It will help you to answer structure questions. Okay. So circuit breaker, there are two functions to prevent excessive current flow through the cable. To detect small leakage current to the earth. Okay. Fuse prevent excessive current flow. Switch fitted onto the live wire. Sweeping plug is the northeast line. Okay. North wire, the neutral wire, earth wire, and the live wire. Okay. Then the earth wire is always connected to the metal casing of the appliance. Okay. Okay, so we look at uh, the next part okay, on the 3-pin and the 2-pin plug. 3-pin plug and the 2-pin plug. So if let's say we have double insulation, okay, double insulation, we can use a 2-pin plug because there's no metal casing. Okay, so there's no need to have the earth wire. Okay, double insulation, the symbol is two square. Okay, and the three pin plug requires a thing will be needed. Okay, for the appliance with metal casing. Okay, metal casing. Okay, okay so that's all about the main part. So we can look at this as a summary. Okay. Electric heating, electric lighting, electric motors. Now you can take out your worksheet. Okay, we can look at, we can look at the worksheet now.
sorry, it takes a while to load. Uh, so far, any question, you can raise your hand. I, I did quite fast because today is the first lesson on practical electricity. Next week will be the second lesson on practical electricity. So next lesson, I'll spend more time on higher order thinking questions. And by the way, uh, so far, I think only Chloe has uploaded her homework. Okay, the rest of you, please upload your homework to the task. Thank you, Chloe. Sorry, it takes a very long time to load the worksheet. You can take out your practical, practical electricity worksheet now. Sorry, it takes a while to upload it. Very slow. So now we do a very quick summary of what we have covered just now. We talk about safe use of electricity, right? We talk about fuels. We talk about circuit breaker. Okay. Anything else we talk about just now? Uh, just now we discussed the other safety device for practical electricity besides fuse and circuit breaker. Anything else? A thing. A thing. A thing. Okay, good. A thing. Thank you. Uh, Rachel, are you there? Okay, Rachel, any other thing you remember as a safety device of practical electricity besides fuels, besides circuit breaker, besides anything else? Uh, double insulation. Okay, double insulation. Okay, good. Double insulation. Okay, good. Jonathan, anything else you can you want to add on? Um, oh, wait, there's also um, switches. Switches, okay, good. Switches, okay. okay, okay. Finally, the worksheet has been opened. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay. So now we look at the formula part. Okay, I suppose uh, most of you have a copy with you already, right? If you do not have a physical copy with you, please write down on a piece of full scale paper so you can revise after class. We only have two hours of lesson every week. It's definitely not good enough to just do physics for two hours, right? Pure physics to just do for two hours, definitely not good enough. So after class, you can revise, do homework, okay? And now we look at the formula, important formula for practical electricity. How do we get the formula for power? Power equals to what? Uh, I'm going to use a slot machine. This this is for me to just pick a student randomly. Okay, Chloe. Chloe, can you give me one formula for power in the topic practical electricity? Um, power equals to voltage times current. Very good. V times I. Excellent. Very good. Okay, very good. Okay, next one. Next one. Hey, I'm still Chloe. <laughs> eh? What happened today? Like, just keep getting Chloe. Ah, uh, okay. Wei Yuan, okay. Any other formula for power? Mm. V, times v R? squared over V squared over R. Very good. V squared over R. Excellent. Thank you. There's one more. Okay, class, there's one more. Let me try this again. Okay, Jonathan. What is the last formula? A squared times R. Very good. I squared times R. Very good. So if we talk about energy, right, it could be V times I times T equals to V squared times T divided by R could be uh, I squared times R times T could be all power multiplied by time. Thank you. Okay. And what is kilowatt hour? Okay, what is kilowatt hour? You may, write to, you may want to write down now, okay? You may want to write down now. This is a very, very important concept. What is kilowatt hour? Okay.
what is kilowatt hour? Write down the answer. Think about it. This is a very, very important key concept that you need to know. It is, is it power? Do you think it's power? Okay, give it your MCQ. Oh, okay, answer A is, is power. Okay, kilowatt hour is power. B is, it is time. C is, it is energy. Okay, D is, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so A, B, C, D, which one is the correct answer? You can answer now. A, B, C, D. Yes, everybody got the correct answer. Okay, very good. Okay, excellent. So I think I, we can write down, right? So it is the amount okay, of electrical energy. Used by one kilowatt device in one hour okay it's very special we don't use it for any other energy we only normally use it for electrical energy that's all okay okay so then how do we calculate utility bill electricity utility bill what we are going to do is we'll use number of kwh times the cost per kwh okay that's the formula for us to calculate the utility bill okay so far okay everyone okay any question please raise your hand if you have any question okay now next part fuse is a safety device included in an Electrical circuit to prevent, to prevent what? Rachel, do you remember? It prevent excessive current. Very good, current. I say current flow. Very good, thank you. Okay. Fuse is a safety device included in an electrical circuit to prevent excessive, if excess, excessive current flow okay that's all for this part okay now we are going to look at okay the household circuit diagram how do you draw this how do we draw this so what are the appliance that we need to have What are the appliances that we need to have? We'll use three wires, which are life, neutral, and earth wire. Okay, so I'm going to draw this here. So I need to have like three wires. Okay, so one wire. Okay, two wire and another wire. Okay, so the first wire, right, I let it be live wire. Okay, second wire, I let it be the neutral wire. Okay, then the earth wire is here. Earthing wire. Okay, so I have an appliance with a metal casing and there's a element as a heating element okay so the live wire will come to the fuse then come to the switch okay after that connected to the, the heating element after that this thing will come up to the live wire connected okay then i will have the metal casing, this is the metal casing. I'll connect it to this part. Okay, 
metal casing. Okay, so what about if I have a bow? How do you connect it? I want you to try by yourself. How do you connect a bow? What about a bow? It might not be so easy. So is it connected in parallel or connected in series? The heating element, right, is connected in parallel or in series with the bulb? Should be connected in? Parallel because when I want to on the light, I don't want to on the metal case, my other sitting element at the same time. So I'm going to have a wire come from the light wire, and then I need a switch. Okay, then connect it to the bulb. So there's no metal casing. I don't need to connect it to the light wire. Just go back to the neutral wire. Okay, so I'm going to show the current flow, current flow like this. Okay, so this is a normal condition. For normal condition, the current flow, I use orange color. Okay, and flow C, go back to the neutral. Okay, so life is of high voltage. Neutral is of low voltage. Earth is also low voltage. Okay. And for current, right, it can also flow in the bulb. Then come back. Okay. So in normal working condition, there's no current in the earth wire. Okay. No current in the earth wire. Okay. Can? So please connect, please remember most of the time for electrical appliance. Household electrical appliance they are connected in parallel. Okay, connected in parallel. Now we are going to look at the uh, this the NEL, the fused safety plug. Can you please try to answer this part first? Uh, different color of wire, the, what are the wires, what are the colors first? For the function, I'll give you the answer shortly. Okay. Okay, what are the wires and what are the function? Okay, class, please take a photo of the answer. Once you have done the wire, the color function, right? I'll, I'll discuss with you later. This one, not yet. But I want you to fill in the first two columns. 
first two columns. Please take a photo and upload your working. Plus, once you have filled in the first two columns, you can upload your you can upload your <coughs> answer. Rachel, good. Rayyan, good. Uh, did someone raise hand just now? Jonathan, is it? Oh, oh, Chloe. Chloe, what's your question? Um, I can't upload it. Okay, is it? Oh, okay, then you'll just look at the answer later. Thank you. Okay, feedback. Okay, maybe I show you the answer from uh Hui Yuan first. Okay. Everybody uh sorry, I clarify the drawing board. You can look at answer from Hui Yuan. She did very well, okay. Life wire brown color, neutral wire blue color. Earth wire yellow and green. Well done. Okay, thank you. Okay, now let's look at uh what is the function of them. Okay, you can now look at my drawing board. Okay, I put here. These are the function of life and neutral. Okay, life and neutral. Okay. So live wire, right, will allow the current to flow from the source, okay, from the source to reach the appliance. Okay. And the neutral wire allows the same current to return to the source to complete the circuit. These two functions is um, not very frequently tested compared to earthing wire, okay. Earthing wire is very, very, very important. So earthing wire, this is the answer. Earthing wire prevents Okay, earthing wire prevents user from getting electric shock if the live wire is not appropriately connected and touches the metal casing of the appliance. Okay, class. Take note, right? Sometimes your school teacher may want to see this term. There's a fault when there is a fault in connection. Okay. 
okay you may want to add here some teacher want to see that a thin wire prevents the user from getting an electric shock if the if there is a fault in connection okay and the live wire is not appropriately connected to uh, connected and attaches a metal casing of the appliance so class i'll say 95 percent of the time they will test you about the function of the earthing wire 95 percent of the time maybe the other five percent is live wire live or neutral wire okay I also want you to write down, right, live wire always at a high voltage and the neutral wire is low voltage and earth wire also low voltage. Okay, please write down that as well. Okay, write down that as well. Okay, any questions so far? Okay, so now I believe I uh, have been, you know, we have been spent quite a lot of time on practical electricity. You may want to do some questions, right? So you can try the MCQ questions first. Ah, uh, yes, Jonathan, what's our question? Wait, um, the answer said that neutral wire is zero voltage, but you wrote that it has low voltage. So is it zero or is it low? The low here means zero. Okay. Yeah. Low is comparatively, yeah, you can say zero, la. okay. Because when I say high and low, I, I mean uh, this high, if your numerical value is about 220 to 240 volts, that's a numerical value. So how about the earthing wire? So, so Same thing, zero. zero, you can say zero or low. Because when I say high and low, I mean I compare the earth wire with live wire, it's low. Very good question, okay. thank you. If you want to know the numerical value, uh, neutral wire, earth wire is zero volts, and uh, uh, life wire is about 220 to 240 volts in Singapore. Some other country may have different value, but in Singapore, it's about 220 to 240 volts. Very good question. Thank you. Okay, so class, <clears throat> you can try the practical question. Uh, let me see how many. MCQ, there are... Wait, 10. There are nine MCQ questions, okay? So let's look at first three questions. After you answer the question, I want you to put your answer on the drawing on a small drawing board. You just write ABC that we'll do. Okay, then we go through. I just give out the small drawing board again. You can write down or take a photo up to you. Okay. Oh, sorry, I need to go toilet.
Agaris, well done for question one, question two. Agaris, which topic you're doing in home based learning now? Um like the last the, the topic that we did last week. Uh this is a kid. Yeah. Oh okay. Okay. So do you have a lot of deadline to meet or your school actually give you moderate amount of work? For physics or for like in general? For physics. In physics not a lot. Or very little? Um not it's just like normal amount. Oh, okay, okay. So we are about uh one topic ahead of school. Um yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Thanks for the feedback. Ah, oh, Huyuan, you did you did a good job. Both questions are correct. You can now move on to question three. Oh, sorry, my question three. So the R is supposed to be correct. Okay. okay. Good effort, Julia. Uh, Jonathan, you may want to write down your answer for question one, two, three on the drawing board so I can check for you. Okay. Drink water, huh? Uh, Rachel, can you please upload your working? Mm, okay. But the last question not correct. Uh, sorry, class. I need to take back the drawing board. I think Chloe just now when I gave out the drawing board, she was accidentally offline, so she, so she didn't have the drawing board now. So she didn't have it since just now. Okay, I hand out again. So Chloe should have a copy. Chloe, do you have a drawing board now? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay, Garus, well done. Well done, Garus. Rachel, your question one and question two are well done, but not question three. Question three, you may want, you may want to try again. Okay. Good, I question one. Class, in a short while, I'm going to talk about question three. In general, question one, question two, all of you did very well, but not question three.
Okay, class, let's look at question three now. Okay, let's look at question three now. Question three, right? How do you interpret 100 joule per second? Is it power or it's energy? Is it power or energy? Can we hear from Rachel? Rachel, what do you think? 100 joule per power. second. Power, very good. So we look at the power formula. Okay, so class, do you notice I choose this formula? Power equals to V squared over R. Thank you, Rachel. You answer very well. Yeah. Why do I use this formula? We have three, right? Power equals to V times I. Power equals to I squared times R. Power equals to V squared divided by R. But why do I choose this one? Because I know R. I have V. I don't know anything about current. I don't plan to find out current. Too, too troublesome, right? I don't know. I, I, I don't care. I don't need to find. So you always use the best approach. You know, students who take physics are all smart students. Or you would rather say, if you study physics, you become smarter, right? So yeah, we use the smarter approach. Like power equals to V squared divided by R. We don't care about I. I don't bother to find. Okay, so power is 100. 100 equals to 5 squared divided by R. And then for circuit B, right? Circuit B, the power equals to 10 squared, which is a voltage divided by half R. So you can use any other method, any other method, you can use mathematics approach or what to find the value. Okay, so the final answer, okay, you can see, right? So 100 over, 100 equals to 25 over R. So the R equals to 0 0.25. You substitute it here. The final answer should be D. Okay, that's for question three. So question three, you need to understand, we look at power. Okay, we look at power. And we know the voltage change. We know the resistance not the same. And we shall use the formula power equals to V squared divided by R. Okay, so now please continue with question four onwards. Gareth, you did very well for question four, five, six. Uh, seven and eight, I want you to try again. Okay, Hui Yuan. Okay, for question three. Jonathan, please uh, upload your working for question four onwards. Oh, you just uh, write down the answer, you take photo. We are good for question four.
Uh, Gareth, your question seven is okay now. Good. Question eight, please try again. Question eight is still not correct, but I know question eight is a difficult question. Question eight is a difficult question. Ah, okay, now okay. Good effort. Uh, Gareth, I'll explain question A later. Okay, I'll explain question A later. Question 9. Okay, great. Question 9, you did a good job. Okay, so you can start doing the structure questions now. Chloe, Chloe, uh, your first question is, is, oops, this is question one, is it? Is it for question one? Oh, okay, let me continue with you. Question one, your answer is D. But how do you know the current is 0 0.50 ampere? If we want to find the current, we can use the formula power divided by voltage, right? What is the power here? Got it good. Voltage. Mm -hmm. Yes, the current is 0 ampere, right? So D is not correct. Okay, we can also eliminate A. So it's actually either B or D. Okay, B or D. The correct answer should, oh, sorry, B or C. The correct answer actually should be C. Because 42 per second is same as 40 volts. Okay. Okay. So question one should be C. Then question four. Okay, class. Uh, I'll go through question four with you now. Okay. I'll go through question four with you now. Question four. In which in which situation is one kilowatt hour energy expanded? So one kilowatt hour. If you have 40 times 2.5, it is 0 0.04 times 2.5 is 0 0.1 kilowatt hour. So answer A is not possible. For answer B, you can find the power as 200 squared divided by 100 V squared over R. 
So 200 square divided by 100 times 0 0.25, you will not get 1. Okay, then for option C, it is uh, power equals to I square R, okay, which is 0 0.5 square times 100, then the total energy is 0 0.5 square times 100 times 4. It is also not uh, 1. So the next question, the last question is actually 2 kilowatt times 0 0.5 hour. Okay, so it's 1 kilowatt hour. So the answer is D for question C. Okay. Question D for question four. Our answer is D for question 4. Okay, I'll talk about question 7, question 8 later. Okay. Chloe, you did a good job, except question 7. You want to try again. That's question 7. Okay, I'm, I'm going and marking your work now. The question 5, question 6, question 3, 7, not really, 8, not really, question 9, mm. okay. Okay, class, I'll show you the answer shortly. Okay, then we'll go through the question 7, question 8 for sure. Okay, class, you may want to take a look of the answer for question 5, question 6 now. Please look at the answer for question 5 and question 6. In general, question 5 and question 6 are well done. Question 5 and question 6, the answers are D and A respectively. Any question for question 5, question 6, please raise your hand. Click the yellow uh, the palm button at on the right bottom corner of the screen please let me know if you have anything you want to ask for question five question six question five the answer is d question six the answer is a Rachel, your answers are in generally okay. Okay, uh, just seven and eight. Other than that, is okay. Good effort. Okay, can we look at question seven now? Question seven. Okay, class, I'll clap back the drawing board and I'll talk about question seven. I think in general, among MCQ questions, seven and eight are the two questions uh, some of you have a uh, problem with. Okay. So an electrical kettle is plugged in and a switch on. The fuse in the plug blows immediately. Which single fault caused this? 
Okay, if the earth wire is not connected to the cattle, what happens is uh, the user may might get electric shock. Electric shock. If there's a fault, right? If there's a fault. Okay, then uh, the live wire and the neutral wire are a wire connection, a swap around. This will not cause this. This is not correct. Then for option C, when the live wire touches the metal casing of the kettle. So what happened is the earth wire, the live wire will go to the metal casing. So the resistance is very, very small. So the current is going to be large. Okay, There's a large current. Because when the live wire touches the metal casing, the resistance in the circuit is going to be very small. So the current is going to be very large. This is the correct answer. Okay. So the wire then option D. The wires connected in the plug are too thin. Okay. It will not really cause the fuse to blow. Okay. It actually depends on the rating of the fuse. Nothing to do with is thing or not thing. Okay, this is irrelevant. So for question seven, the best answer is C. Okay, the best answer is C. Any question? Now let's look at question eight. I think question eight, uh, most of you have problem with. Yes, uh, Gareth, what's your question? Oh, no, I pressed wrongly. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So question eight. Okay, question eight. What would be the effect of using the plug wire this way? Okay. So what's the problem here? You look at the circuit. What's the problem here? Please do a inspection now uh, like, let's look at here it was wrong you remember the connection is north east line neutral wire earth wire and live wire so what's the problem in the connection now what's the problem in the wiring Jonathan what do you think hmm? what do you think what's the problem like for question eight which part of the connection uh... Is it the brown wire touching the casing? So it's the brown wire and the green yellow wire are together. So basically the live wire and the earth wire, earth wire and the live wire. So the green yellow is the earth wire. The brown wire is the live wire, right? Okay, thank you. Yeah, so that's a problem. So then the question is, if this happened, We can say the metal casing, right? Because the live wire touches the metal casing as well, right? So the earth wire and live wire, both of them will touch the metal casing. So the metal casing will live. Live actually means it's at high voltage. Live means it is at high voltage. Okay, at high voltage. So the answer should be B because the earth wire and the live wire touch each other. So the live wire will make the metal casing will make the metal casing at high voltage. Please remember, live wire is at high voltage. When they touch each other, there will be the same voltage. Okay. So question eight, the answer is B. It's a difficult question. Okay, class. We are going to explain and discuss more questions like this next lesson, but not today's lesson. Okay, we'll discuss more such questions next lesson. Yes, Hui Yuan, what's your question? Um, but how come the life is connected to the casing? Uh, not connected to the casing, they attach the casing because you see the 
green and the yellow is the earth wire, right? Earth wire, right? Earth wire and the life wire, they touch each other. So the life wire becomes the same as the life wire touch the metal casing as well. So the metal casing will be at high voltage. Because at first, earth wire touch the metal casing. Now the life wire touches the earth wire. So we'll make the metal casing at the same voltage as it. Same voltage, which is high voltage. So oh. when the metal casing is at high voltage, we use this term called life. Life is to describe the component or the device or the particular part of the appliance is at high voltage. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, thank you for the question. Okay. Class, any other question? Any other question? Rachel, you have a question? Can I understand? Okay, good. Good, okay. How about Chloe? Can you understand? Ah. Uh, okay. Thank yeah. you. So now class we will look at question nine. I think question nine all of you did it correctly. Okay. All of you did it correctly. Okay. Question nine, all of you did it correctly. The answer is A. Okay. So you can see this is a very typical way how we connect. Okay. Live wire, go to the switch, go to the appliance, come out. Okay. So if we want to have the fuse, right? We shall connect. It. Please remember the switch always connect. Switch and fuse. Always connected to the live wire. Switch and fuse always connected to the live wire. So the only possible answer is A. Okay. So now please continue with uh, question 10. Question 10. I just hand out the small drawing board. Once you finish question 10, okay, once you finish question 10, please take a photo and upload your working. Chloe, well done. Very good. Oh, oh, just one thing. I want to see 0 0.90. You know why? 2SM. Okay. Make the answer perfect. 2SM. Okay. Good. Gareth, very well done. Excellent. Okay. 
very steady lah. So far, um, I think you are doing very well. Good. Oh, Huyen, very well done. Okay, Huyen, well done. Okay, I like your presentation, very clear and uh, follow the standard, you know, CSF, 2SF, final answer is unit. Excellent. Good. Jonathan, well done. Question 10, perfect. Okay, uh, let's look at, Rachel, let's look at your working. I, I like the part A, very well done. Rachel, for part B, right, they say electrical energy. So normally we use power multiplied by time. So it is 0 0.90. In two minutes, there are two times 60 seconds. So you get the final answer. But you try to do KWH. But this one is not in hour. Leh. This is in second. Leh. You get what I mean, right? So I'm okay with if you want to present your final answer in uh, KWH, you can say energy equals to this, which how many how many kilowatt times. But if you times this, it should be in hour, you times 2 over 60. Then okay, then final answer is in KWH. But yours is, you're getting K kilowatt second. That's not correct. Okay. Okay, class, I'll clap back the drawing board. I'm going to do a quick lesson summary with you now. Okay. Okay. So, uh, today's homework, we are going to do this worksheet question 11 to question 14. So, based on your feedback just now, um, Felix work is okay during the home-based learning period. But, you know, for set four, let's work slightly harder. So, I will say four questions are very reasonable lah, for the whole week of Felix, right? We just do four questions. And those of you, I, I remember only Chloe upload her homework last week. So last week homework is question 10 and the question 12 of the DC circuit worksheet. Okay, please upload your working to the task. You know where to upload. Let me show you. Okay, so when you go to the class in app, right, you can see there's a task here. Class, you look at the task here. So for the previous week, I already put down the homework, question 10 and question 12. Please take photo of your work here and upload photos here. So, so far, I think only Chloe managed to submit. So the rest of you, please submit the worksheet on electricity question 10 to 12, which is what we did last week. Okay, you upload here so I can look at the working, I can give you feedback. We have spent quite a few lessons on electricity, so I most likely will do revision only. We won't go through, the, I mean, the whole lesson to do the question. So please upload your working here. 
Okay, it's on the task. So for the lesson today, what we have done is, okay, I'll remove this first. Okay, what we've done is on practical electricity. Okay, for the last two minutes, I'm going to do a summary of the lesson today. Practical electricity. Okay, for this topic, there's very few calculation questions. Formula-wise, only power equals to V times I equals to V squared divided by R equals to I squared times R. This is one of the formula. Okay, the other formula is calculate from energy in kWh. So it's power multiplied by time. So the power should be in kilowatt. The time should be in hour. For example, okay, for example, let's say we have Power equals to 350 watt. Time is uh, 30 minutes, right? Then we shall find the energy in kilowatt hour equals to 350 divided by 1000 kilowatt times 30 over 60 hour. Okay, then you get the final answer. It should be... 0 0.175 okay 0 0.175 kilowatt hour okay then if you want to calculate utility bill you use this times maybe let's say 20 cents right then you can get the answer 2.5 cents okay uh in terms of calculation practical electricity only these two parts okay so for our next lesson what we are going to do is questions like seven and eight okay we'll focus more on this these two. There are a lot of uh, explanation questions may come out and we are going to do circuit diagram, more circuit diagram as well. When I say circuit diagram is questions like, uh, like questions like 15 or something like this. We are going to do more such questions, higher level or higher order questions next week. Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll mute all of you for now. Okay, I'll mute all of you for now. So, do you have any question you want to discuss with me? You want to, you want to ask now? Do you have any question? You all did a very good job. Today, the MCQ questions are very well done. Except question 7 and 8, right? Okay, so I'll see you next week. This week, the homework is question 11 to question 14. Those of you who didn't submit your work last week, you can submit to the class task.